And welcome to this! What is this? This is Back to the Future, the game! I was originally going to do this for the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, but I fell very, very ill. Um, so that sucked quite a lot. Let's have 720p, please. Why would I... Oh. Oh. Uh. I fixed it, woohoo! Now the video is 720p or whatever. Right, yes, yeah, so I was gonna do this for the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, but I fell very, very ill on and around that day, so I just watched the movie again, and it's a fucking good movie. If you haven't seen Back to the Future, watch it. <laughs> I've still got a bit of a cough from my illness, but um, nothing I can't handle. So, yes, what is this? This is. Back to the Future, the game. For those of you that don't know, yeah, there was a game, fairly recently actually, based on Back to the Future. It was made by Telltale Games before Walking Dead, so before they have the whole every choice has a consequence sort of, I guess, game mechanic that is now in all of their games. Um, so this is a very basic, like, simple Back to the Future, like, well, Back to the Future theme point and click adventure game. It doesn't have any of the, oh man, w w what decision shall we make to change the future or the past or, ooh, yeah, there's, there's none of that. It is just sort of a fixed story that you go through. You make a few arbitrary decisions, like what different people call you, but yeah, it's nothing too special. Um, there's not necessarily a bad thing because, you know, it, it, I'm making my flux capacitor the flux capacitor. <laughs> I love Back to the Future. It's probably my favourite trilogy of films of all time ever. And the first one stands as probably, but this changes a lot, my favourite film ever. But again, as I say, that changes an awful lot. Whiplash, modern classic. Go check that out if you haven't already. Soundtrack's ace. We're not talking about Whiplash. We're talking about Back to the Future, the game. Let's start a new game. Would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Go for it! Show them goals, boy! So we will first... Oh, excuse me. We shall partake in, or indeed just observe, because that's really more of the game. Not! Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. And now we get to choose the lines, like from the film. <laughs> Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Excuse me to ruin the, uh, the sort of immersion for you all, but I'm turning on the subtitles. Because that's important to me. Go! The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. 
And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Oh, this is where it gets different from the film! Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Yes, so you'll notice that it sort of... <coughs> Excuse me. It works along with the, with the sort of context of the film, but it's almost like an alternate film universe type thing. I don't know. So, um, yes, we will do notebook. this. Notebook. Got it. This is pretty much the entire game, incidentally. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z <laughs> times C squared. Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Go for that. Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? So it was a dream all along! For it, Doc? I love, love, love this franchise so much. Oh, and the theme is amazing. Serious business right now. Yes, so it's not actually a um, an alternate universe. I may have lied to you all, and I do so apologize for that. It does take place after the events of the third film. So there might be spoilers for the third film. I don't know. I haven't played this in literally years. So I wouldn't be able to tell you. But I do know Back to the Future is a good movie. I'm sorry. I'm fanboying a little too hard. Too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc's stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, 
But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! <laughs> Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. Okay, let's make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. I mean, Lord knows he would never do something like that. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Hmm. Hmm. Dog feeder. Yes, why not? From that iconic scene in the first film. Right at the beginning. Hey, let me... Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Fucking asshole, Biff. Which is weird, because I thought he was supposed to be kind of the nice guy in this universe. Kind of. Yeah. Alright, does that hint just stay there? Because I kind of would want to turn him off if they do. Let's talk to George. George McFly. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. <laughs> Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <clears throat> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. I think we're good here. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. I haven't yet, no, I was, um... Oh, the amplifier! Yes! Don't do it. Uh, ooh. Ooh, the controls are a bit weird because when you change camera angle, the, the, um... The controls don't change accordingly, so if you're holding W to go up, and the camera changes, you'll be moving left, but still holding W. And then when you want to turn on the next screen, you've got to, yeah, work around it. It's a bit weird. Anyway, Town Square. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Dude, don't be an asshole, man. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Hawk. Fine, because you're so fucking adamant about it. Hints. It's like a pretty powerful force to knock that notebook out of Biff's grasp. Okay. It's cool, I guess. You know, we'll work with that. It's just. Hey, Biff. I only want that notebook because. Well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. He's a swell guy. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Well, I get the feeling, yes, it's something to do with the amplifier. Lo and behold. Hang on. Why are you selling this guitar? Hey, Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? 
Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. <laughs> yes, let's click on the blinking inventory button. Well, that's not really blinking, is it? Uh, Marty's guitar. Use item. With... Oh, amplifier or the controls? Amplifier. Yes, that was correct. I am a smart guy. Apparently, anyway. I wouldn't know. Uh, Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look. It's Chuck Butthead. Shut up, Biff. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Wow, that was sizzling hot. Like a melting ice cube. Dude, fuck you. <laughs> like, straight up. Let's make some noise. Oh, it's like that scene. Oh my god. Can you say fan service? Don't know about any more. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Well, I suppose. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. Yeah. I was just warming them up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. Was that enough? That looked like Man, it you kids have ruined rock and roll. Looked like it knocked the uh, notebook out. Or was I wrong? Oh, I was. Okay, so I need to get rid of George somehow. Hey, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Okay, so that's how you do it. More or less. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Ah, pfft, Fine. Worse. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. This is how to do it. Oh, you're gonna fucking. Oh boy. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Doc, where are you? Bulletproof vest. Come from, boy. Didn't you bring Doc with you? Well, um, as it happens, I have had dinner made for me now, so uh, I guess this is where we'll end this part. I'm not sure how long it will be. Probably not very long. Sorry about that. Which you gonna do? I'll see you in the next Sunny Media Guide. That's my part of Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. Bye!